Hi everybody, my name is Cindy Bell Neville. I'm here at the International Quilt Festival in Houston. And this is a quilt that I helped to make with seven other ladies. It's called the Amazing Aztecnicolor Dream Quilt and it's based on the Aztec calendar. We actually got the idea when we were searching up, this is our third quilt, and when we got together to decide what to do for our next quilt, after our second one, we um, came up with the idea of doing this calendar. But we needed a line drawing of it. If you go online and start looking for line drawings of this, they're kind of far, few and far between. Um, but there's, this, there's, there's pictures of the big calendar that's in Mexico. It is 12 feet across, so we only did our six feet across. Um, but to get a line drawing out of that would have taken us a year in itself. So I went back online, started researching for more, some more, and found a man named Thomas Filsinger, who lives in St. Paul, Minnesota. And he's a historian a professor and historian, and he had done a line drawing. He had also researched the symbology and the colors behind this quilt. And so using all, he, I sat down and emailed him really quick. I was leaving for Antarctica the next day. So I emailed him off. I said, this is, we're this group, and we really want to do this quilt. And he said that, you know, he, he um, actually emailed me back, and the next morning, right before I left, I got the email. And I said, oh my goodness. He said he'd be fine. He'd be honored for us to do this. I emailed him back and said, I will get back to you in two weeks. While I was gone, Carol Moller is one of the other people in our group. I um, actually went ahead and emailed him and he sent all of the materials. So we had everything. We had color photos, we had a pamphlet about the history, and we had this wonderful line drawing. So using that um, information from him, we tried to uh, replicate the colors as closely as possible. The other story I want to tell about this quilt is when we decided to do raw edge applique, we had to decide on what kind of stitch and thread to use on it. The first suggestion was monofilament. I really, really don't like monofilament. Don't like the way it works with it, don't like the way it looks. So I'm going, okay, I have to convince these people to do it my way. So I sat down and did a little section, actually it was this one right here on our quilt. And I made samples of it, and I stitched out using monofilament with a zigzag, monofilament with a blanket stitch, um, a thin thread like Masterpiece, which is what we ended up using, with a blanket stitch, a single and double blanket stitch, and with the zigzag. And when we got to the end, I was like leaning towards a zigzag stitch. We got to the end, and I looked at the samples, and the single blanket stitch with the Masterpiece thread looked by far the best. And so I posted it all. And everybody went, ooh, okay. <laughs> and I was done with the monofilament. It was so cool. It was wonderful working with this group of people. Um, we, like I said, we've been together. This is our third quilt. And things happen as you're going along. You, um, people fill in places, like Carol emailing Thomas while, Thomas while I was gone. And just having everybody come in and make all the decisions on the colors, on the, the stitching, on the fusible. Everybody came in and came together to make it all work out. So that's my story with, of the quilt, and thank you.